Aloha Jaang, checking out Taste of Peking in Plano, Texas. Traveling across America at east to west coast. This dude is a bomb. You're gonna check out later in the video how he makes those noodles. My goodness, so good. Yeah, I do a lot of burpees non-stop for 900 plus days. I'm 50 plus years old. I do burpees so I can do my seafood diet. And uh, yeah, you know, fit over 50 like I say. Uh, even on my east to west coast drive across America, I still do my burpees at least 100 a day. And uh, every now and then I do a little bit more. And uh, here we go with the workout. Please hit that like and subscribe button and food. Fitness, foodies, and the fabulous absurd. From burpees to camu, you're never gonna know what you're gonna get from your unk, burpee yoga uncle. All right, this is uh, day two of us driving across and we went to Taste of Peking for lunch. Uh, it's kind of early around five-ish, so there was really nobody there. I think we we're like one of the first, uh, first desk or first uh, table. Uh, very nondescript, typical Asian restaurants. Uh, this dude, this is him making our flat noodle. He really enjoys doing this and it's really amazing. At the beginning, I didn't know what he was doing here. I know he's making noodles, but I didn't know what kind of noodle he's doing. But that's how he makes them really flat. He really enjoys doing this, as you can tell. And right now, he's actually making the flat noodles. And uh, I, I thought he was keeping it in there to ferment. When in actuality, he was actually cooking it. I didn't even know because there was no smoke. So right here, he was boiling the noodles for a while. I didn't know what he was doing. Uh, in hindsight, what he's actually doing is preparing the noodles. Because we ordered this uh, flat hand cut noodle and he was actually making it and I didn't know what he was doing. It was so interesting because I, I didn't see the steam coming from the pot and I don't know what he was doing. And it just works and works and works and next thing you know, uh, you'll see, you'll see what I mean. It's like, I, I really, literally did not know what he was doing. Like, I thought he was making some side dish or something like that. It wasn't until now that I realized he was actually cooking the noodles. And making the noodles, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, watch the end result. I was pretty impressed. There it is. Usually it's put together, but the person getting this order wants it separated. Usually that little bowl, all the stuff goes on top of this noodle. And this noodle, oh my gosh. That is, I don't know even what to tell you. This is like about the best hand cut and handmade noodle. And this is the stir fry version of the same hand cut noodle that he made. Uh, but this is seafood. Uh, this is so good too, my goodness. And uh, this final cut is him making the super skinny ones. Just watch his amazement as he does it. And uh, he, he loves doing this. He loves to perform. Uh, I wish the restaurant... The restaurant is like highly rated. Uh, you can check it in Yelp or in Google. And uh, we were glad to eat here. He entertained us a lot even though we're the only customers there. But just watch this. It's so amazing when we make this super skinny noodle. Just wait till the end. I was super impressed. I just... It was fun.
You see what I mean? They are so skinny afterwards. I was so amazed. It was amazing. He just did it to show us. He already did it. This is the final one that he just, he, he actually made. The last one, he just showed it for us the second time. It was amazing just for the video. But yeah, go check out this restaurant. This is like by far the best noodle. And here I am. There's too much music playing in there. So I, there's no way for me to uh, record it. But this is the flat noodle that I tried. I mean, I tried that in where I lived too like a couple of videos ago. That one tasted kind of like not very slippery and not very... I don't know, but this one is succulent and it's tender and it's got good flavors. Now, in fact, this noodle and the skinny one, the Jia Jiang Min that we got, the Beijing version, man, is one of the best noodles I've ever tasted. Talk about fresh noodles. And of course, we also got uh, Sang Jin Bang, which is uh, like uh, dumplings that's been fried, pan fried, and also Siu Long Ba, which is the the small um, dumplings, right? The, the nine dress, small dragon dumplings, they call it. But overall, this is a great restaurant to try. If you ever get to Plano, Texas, I left the address there. You gotta try the noodles that I showed you. The Jia Jiang Mian, the hand cut noodles with the, uh, the stir fried virgin seafood. Right there, there you go. I'm eating the Siu Long Bao. Uh, which is famous too and they, theirs is not bad and it wasn't that expensive I think it was like 11 or 12 dollars which is in line with almost every place the food is fresh i really enjoy eating it look at that juice coming out oh my gosh i want to eat some now some places you eat they don't have the juice coming out so they did it correctly but again everything is really good here the best is the jiao jiao min with that i'm out you can watch the rest of the video as i'm grinding away eating everything in my sight seafood diet as your uncle